Hello, hello. So I'm going to do another video today um, about AI kind of stuff, very basic stuff. I already did one video on it, but in this one I kind of want to just expand. I'm going to be using the exact same script I used in there, but with uh, some more functionality. Some hopefully really cool things that you guys like. Um, basically, I want the AI to kind of weigh decisions and decide a little bit more on how to proceed with an email that I received. So like in my videos, I always say, I don't really have an email program on my computer, so I'm just using a template. So on this one, the subject line is just going to say, subject, can I buy some goats? Let's take a look at the code. So I'm going to kind of briefly go over some of the stuff that was in the last video. Um, obviously, I'm just going to really focus on the new stuff. So, got my hotkey F1 up here. And then, uh, in the last video, I had the send control A. That way, it could highlight it and then uh, copy it. Then, I got that, uh, you know, section, check if there's any money that's owed by the person. Not really going to cover this because I went into a lot more detail in the last video. And there's nothing really new here. What is new, though? is the string replaces I add here. So all I'm really trying to look for is what kind of product they want to buy. They want to buy goats. I don't really need all this extra stuff messing up my AI. So you don't have to get rid of it. I like to do it. I think it's a little bit more of a cleaner solution. So as you see, I have it just doing uh, string replace by getting rid of subject. Can I buy some? Don't need any of that information. I just need the word goats. Right away, what it's going to do, like in my last video, it's going to see if goats is uh, in the clipboard. If it is, it's going to tell me that there's a 100% chance that this is for the animal department. Now, what is new is I want to auto-reply. So before, what I was doing was a message box telling you what this was for. It's still going to do that. As soon as I close that message box, it's actually going to open up a new email, control N, which should be for most programs to open a new uh, email template. Send write, send enter. That's just going to get me to where I need to be in the uh, subject line. This you might have to play with uh, a little bit, depending where your cursor starts when you open a new template. Just a quick sleep, just to make sure it has time to open. And then the clipboard, it's going to spit out, yes, I will get your order in right away. And then control V. Uh, the reason I'm doing control V versus send and then all this text is if I were to do send, yes, I will get your order in right away, it's going to type this out. I mean, with a sentence this small, it's not a big deal. It's pretty fast. But doing control V is an instant paste of that code or the uh, line of text that I want. So I just like this because it's very fast, especially if you're going to be doing something a lot bigger than just this one little sentence I'm using. Now, if it's not a 100% chance that goats is in there, maybe the client misspelled the word goats, it's going to do a weigh thing here with weighing that word to see what is the probability that they did mean goats. So I just got a variable here, AI guess, started at 0%. It's going to see, you know, does the clipboard contain a G? Plus one to that variable. O, A, T, S, so on, and add it. So that's going to get its way. Then it's going to do some little math here. It's basically going to take 100 divided by 5 because goats contains 5 letters. Variable percent, AI guess, times 20 because each one would be a 20% increase of the chance. Um, obviously, you might have to play with this to get exactly what you want in percentage depending on the word. You know, For example, they said, can I buy a goat instead of goats? Well, then what it's going to do is if AI guess equals four or more, it's going to give me a message box. This is for the animal department, AI percent chance. So that should be like 80%. Then 60%, exact same thing. But then lastly, if it, if it ends up being less than a three uh, variable difference, it's just going to go else. I'm not sure where this goes, just because they messed up that word so much that I should probably read it just to say they weren't saying something else. And it just got a fat, uh, a way too low of a percentage. 
And then like up there, I did put, you know, that exact same sentence in each uh, if function here, just so that it can answer back unless it's under, you know, a certain percentage. Now, a lot of this, this is very basic. There's a lot of different ways to do this. This is probably by far the easiest way to break it down and understand. You can get into like way more complicated stuff using like Red X, uh, more complicated formulas, adding string replaces uh, for what you need. Uh, but this is kind of very intro way of doing it. Um, I know with Outlook, you can also use comms to fill out templates. So if you don't want to use send, write, send, enter, you can always put a um, com here, which I'm going to be talking about in a later video because those can get a little weird and tricky, especially when you're working with a website or something that contains iframes. It can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to push F1. It's probably going to do this pretty fast. So there we go. This is for the animal department, 100% chance. You now it has the full word there, goats. Now when I push OK, it's automatically going to open a new one and put in my reply back for me. Yes, I will get your order in right away. And then all I have to do is on my Outlook or whatever you're using, push send. Now let's see that, but with like a mistake in it. Let me just recopy this over. We'll do that. I have to resave it because it opened a new template. We'll name it whatever. So, uh, let's just do it without the S. Can I buy some goat? So I'm going to go ahead and run that again with F1. And as you see now, this is for the animal department. AI's guess is that it's an 80% chance that that's who it's for. So, I decide that's good enough for me. It's going to go ahead and answer. Boom. Yes, I'll get your order in right away. Now, the last thing I want to show you is if it's just such a low percentage, I don't want it to actually hit with that. I'm creating a lot of text files here. Obviously, this won't be a problem if you're using Outlook or something. All right. So, I don't know. Let's go with... Just horrible spelling. Uh, for some reason, that they, they think that's how you spell goats. Why not? They just accidentally hit the keyboard and were autocorrect, corrected it to something else that they didn't mean for it to do, and they didn't notice it. They went ahead and sent it to you. I'm going to push F1. And the percentage of it being for a goat, just because it's spelled so badly... It's just going to give me a message box. I'm not sure where this goes. So you might just need to reply back to the client. Uh, you could automate that too, where it says, hey, I'm not sure what you're trying to order. We don't have you know, Gito in our system. What did you mean for this to go to? Um, or just have a message box so you can manually read it and be like, oh, you know what? They probably meant goats. I'm just going to go ahead and forward that to the animal department. And then it's their problem to figure out. What's going on? Why not? Oh, that was a short video, just kind of expanding on the AI. Uh, as always, I'll post this code in the description below. If you guys have any questions on here that maybe I forgot to really mention or want me to expand on, please definitely let me know in the comments below. I think I could go pretty far in doing a good amount of AI stuff with here. I mean, the first two videos I did were, I mean, very basic decision making by the script you can get very very complicated i've done some pretty pretty cool ones that uh, read a pdf file it'll read like the first 10 pages of a pdf and it'll make a decision for what department it's for based on text in there or you know false readings uh you know if this sentence is worded this way ignore it because it's just kind of like a sub note we need to know what department it's going to and having it just automatically forward that email for us. Um, after some work and playing around with that, we actually got it to a 90% accuracy, which was pretty darn good for it getting the documents correct every time on where it should go. Um, so you can get pretty advanced, do some pretty cool decision making with that kind of stuff. 
So please subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. See ya.